Welcome to the World Radio Communication Conference 2023, WRC 23, being held in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates, where I'm pleased to be joined in the studio this morning by Soraya Contreras, who is Spectrum Engineer, as well as being an expert on satellite matters for Ofcom in Switzerland. Soraya, welcome to the studio. Thank you very much. Now, let me start off by asking you about the World Radio Communication Conference. Why is it an important event? Why are you attending this? Well, as you mentioned, I work for the um, regulator, the National Authority in Switzerland. So, of course, it's important for us that um, this conference makes the relevant uh, modification to the radio regulations in order to provide more opportunities to those uh, looking forward to providing new services while protecting those that are already in, in the environment. Now, what are some of the challenges and, and opportunities in terms of radio communications in Switzerland? Well, um, in, on top of what you mentioned, I am also CPT coordinator for One Agenda Item, which is 116, which is about uh, the stations in motions in the K band for operating with non geostationary systems. So we are very implicated uh, and very active in the um, not only ITU but also at CPT level. So we have to make sure that being a small country in the middle of Europe that with a number of neighbors that we are able to operate and implement uh, radio communication services uh, consistent with our neighbors and um, important for our population. Now, traditionally, WRC is actually being held in Geneva, in Switzerland, actually, where ITU's uh, headquarters are. So you've come a fair distance to be here. I wanted to find out from you, uh, what do you hope will be some of the outcomes from this conference? Well, there are many challenges. I mean, in terms of terrestrial service, aeronautical space, regulatory, uh, there are a number of discussions. Uh, for us, what is really uh, important is to make sure that everyone has an opportunity to operate, uh, that as a regulator, we don't favor more one system or another, one service or, or another. So for us, the most important is really to ensure future services, but also protecting all the assets that are uh, there, especially in this space for many years, but also Switzerland being quite reliable on terrestrial services. For us, it's a very important challenge also to protect them and to provide new opportunities it is to new incumbents and, and that's valid for, for all kind of services. I should add also that uh, Switzerland is very committed also in the framework of ESA projects, so we support greatly also all the um, science services and we are um, very active on, on, on that sense. Now, in principle, I mean, the, the, the conversations that are being had here, there's a lot of people learning from each other, I think, as well, because there's a lot of member states here all gathered together. I just wanted to find out what are your impressions of this meeting and, uh, and in terms of, say, exchange of information, ex exchange of learnings, etc., apart from the, obviously, the decisions that are being made here with regards to reg regulations. You know, it has been a challenging cycle with the pandemics. We had a period in which uh, we really felt the impact of not meeting each other, not being able to, to, to have this, um, you know, offline conversation, as, as we call, to find real solutions. On the phone, it was just so challenging. So being here, I, I consider we can be happy to have all the faults around to, to try to better understand us, to uh, come out with solutions that are really workable for, for everyone. And I know that you were interviewed uh, a little while ago with regards to gender participation here at conferences and uh, particularly at WRC there's been a big push to achieve uh, greater gender parity for this and there was a, a gender resolution passed at the Radio Communication Assembly just prior to this conference here. I wanted to ask you about your opinion on this and, and how you think this is progressing. So, yes, of course, uh, we have in CPT a big co-coordination team Actually, our work in CPT is a split in project teams. So in every project team, we have a um, co-coordinator uh, and we have actually official sessions on network of women in CPT in which uh, we have uh, made around 40 different sessions around the, uh, all um, during the cycle. And I am part of that uh, co-coordination team in, in the project team B for the space uh, services. So we were very active, but it was also so uh, important work that was made in collaboration, uh, the, the whole team led by, uh, by Amela, but also with the other regions, because we often invited the co-coordinators from other regions to our sessions. And I think that the gender resolution was the big achievement of all this coordinated work in, in the whole six regional organizations. So. 
So you feel that there are more women participating in this event than before? We were checking out the statistics a little bit yesterday in the event organized by ITUR. There is an increase, a sensitive increase. Of course, it's not uh, what is ideally, but, but we noticed that if we compare it over the last 20 years and we're achieving in these uh, days, it, it's very positive. And, and, and we believe that the tool of having the gender resolution will facilitate to make it more official and, and to to have these uh, exchanges in a more official framework, which, which really will um, encourage administrations to, to domestically um, take measures, whatever they can, to, to, to increase the participation of women in, in the radio communication sector. So fair to say slow progress, but moving in the right direction. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think so. I want to sit in this, in this way. Okay, great. Well, Soraya Contreras, thank you so much for joining us in the studio. Uh, it's been a pleasure listening to uh, your insights with regards to uh, radio communications and also your, your uh, views on the conference itself. And uh, hopefully we'll catch up with you again in the not too distant future. <laughs> thank you very much for the invitation. Thank you. And if you've enjoyed this interview, which I'm sure you will have, then please check out our other interviews on our YouTube channel, as well as our podcasts on our podcast channel, SoundCloud, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen to your podcasts from. And for further information, visit our website at www.itu.int. Thanks for tuning in.